Hey Salif, this is Super Zomaga Barbecue, and today we uh, got a rather nice surprise when Road to Glory ended. Now you may or may not be taking part in the current team event, just to clarify if you are, let me know in the comment section below where you guys are getting. Uh, I have AHTF and we're absolutely killing it on the third car, but more on that very, very, very soon. I want to talk about something that's happened recently. We're also going to go through a few additional bits and pieces about kind of the speed of this tier and where it seems Ultimate Harden and Elite are going to fit in with your future plans for WWE Supercard. Because right now, it's a little bit up in the air. I say that after we've just had the release of the throwbacks, which the cards were OP as hell. I mean, I, I covered those off in a previous video. Go ahead and check that out. But... Those cards are OP as hell, as good as the Money in the Bank cards. Maybe we're going to see even better event cards come through. Or maybe this is the sign that we're preparing for a new tier in maybe Royal Rumble time. Possibly. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Before we get into this, if you want to like this video, hit the thumbs up, please. And that'd be amazing. Share this on with other people and also get it out across the world of social media. That'd be amazing. Love you all for that. But we're going to get into the reason why this video exists. And that is because there is a possibility, I'd say a very strong possibility as well, that we're about to get a female ring domination. When you're thinking about female superstars recently, none have had an effect on the women's division in either Raw or SmackDown. And just ignore Sasha and Charlotte. They've had about 16 million PCCs already. I'm talking about... A new WWE Superstar has come up from NXT and has come through to SmackDown and has absolutely killed it and has shown that she is definitely the person who should be holding that belt. I'm talking about Alexa Bliss. Now this is certainly going to bliss a few people off, but they just need to deal with it. Alexa Bliss definitely seems, just from this image alone, and with the WWE Women's Championship as well, in her toe that image just looks amazing now there's been a couple of leaks previously and i just want to address those because there was a triple h leak and there was an alicia fox leak however both of those cards the images were already in the game they were just mistakenly put where you can see Sami Zayn's picture is now if i click that now it goes into team ring domination for example the difference is, is that image has never shown up before now it showed up for about an hour before assuming sun went on and just kind of went oh we really shouldn't be showing that and the reason why it showed up, I think, is because it's the next ring domination card. And I'm going to just throw a couple of theories out there. First of all, it's got the red and blue tint. Now, the red and blue tint seems to only come with the cards from Road to Glory through ring domination. And obviously, the red and blue tint comes from the ring domination cards. And if you've seen the ring domination cards, let's use uh, Goldberg for an example. Let's see where I can find him. Oh, use Brad the Hitman Heart. You've got the blue at the bottom and the red at the top. Uh, you can see the blue and the red on the image for Alexa Bliss. There's definitely some proof that this could be a card coming up soon. The other thing you've got to take into consideration is that Cat Daddy, WWE Supercar, whatever you want to call them, uh, 2K Studios will have had Christmas off. And as far as I was aware, only barely any of them will work between Christmas and New Year. And this event is supposed to be starting before New Year. So it would not surprise me at all that this image got added into the game. For one bug or another, it's shown up at the end of Road to Glory. Now, given that we've got a Lita already, and I'll just show you the Lita card, going to the Ultimate Cards, I'll show you Lita. Actually, you know what? Let's come out of this. I'll show you my own card catalogue. Let's go to uh, Females, uh, Shelf Lita. So Lita's stats are already OP as they are, but I, I, I don't know. I just got a feeling that the Lita card is probably going to get crushed by this event, Alexa Bliss. But it does raise some big questions. Now, for those of you who are thinking, oh, this is a catastrophe and you shouldn't be doing this too early, just remember is that in Legendary Tier in Season 2, they only did this two weeks later than when this one seems to be planned for. Now, to the reason why I think they've done this, obviously they needed something to take out Lita, something to be, you know, kind of... It seems it's always got to be something that counsels out another. For example, they had the Money in the Bank cards, people who've hoarded Money in the Bank contracts, who's got loads of Money in the Bank contracts, getting uh, their asses kicked by the throwback cards. The throwback cards had a female in them, which was kind of easy-ish to obtain if you opened enough packs. And then you also then have the event, the lady coming along, which is probably going to ruin Lita, empower 
speed and charisma, let's be honest. The only advantage that Lita probably has is in toughness. So, what are your thoughts in the comment section below? I would say this links to potentially there being a brand new tier around about the time the Royal Rumble happens. Now, I don't think that ties in with the Royal Rumble rewards, and I imagine those will just continue, maybe as, as, as such with the, uh, the ranked rewards as well. But as far as I can see, this only links to one potential, and that is that there'll be a brand new tier around about Royal Rumble time, maybe a Rumble tier or a Royalty tier, or maybe... My, my suggestion, because the thing is, they don't seem to be naming tiers after anything this time. So, they don't seem to be naming after Legendary Survivor, for example. If I had Hardened, Elite, and Ultimate, maybe they'll name this one something like Universe, for example. Or maybe they'll name it uh, something completely different. Who knows? Um, but it certainly sends a signal that's going to happen. Maybe it's sending a signal that fusions are going to be coming. My personal opinion is that fusions will be coming in about a month's time, maybe two months' time, once a, a new tier's come in and they've had more time to integrate the game, etc. Uh, they do need to sort out the, the costing on the fusions, though, because it's just ridiculous that you have to pay 16k credits to get yourself a Summer Sand fusion when you can buy one Elite Pack and get a card that instantaneously craps all over it so that just needs to be changed completely like right now maybe they're keeping it the way it is now so people don't just hoard a bunch of fusions together but i imagine that'll be changed talking about changes whilst we get ourselves our rewards pcc so people that are already predicting this alexa bliss card that we're showing on the screen now will indeed mean that we have to return a pcc i don't think so the reason i don't think so is because I think PCC is going to be held back until the next tier or next big update comes out. And I just, I'm feeling it now. They released an update just around the mid to end of December. They released an update towards the end, which will release a new tier around about Royal Rumble or something new around about maybe even Fusions around about Royal Rumble. Maybe they'll be even better than these cards. And I think they'll also bring in PCC at that point. I just don't see there being a PCC or, or introducing PCC with a female superstar because it seems almost certain that Alexa Bliss is going to be the next event card. Maybe I could be wrong. Let me know in the comment section below. And thanks to Gravy, by the way, for showing that image on Twitter. Uh, much appreciated, dude. So let me claim my rewards from this week's Team Ring Domination. First of all, we're going to get ourselves a Jimmy Uso, and then I'm going to get myself a pro Sami Zayn. I have got six or seven cards to pro and I'm holding back all my King of the Ring awards because I want to show all of them in one big kind of montage towards the end of this week so definitely pay attention to that but we've got Sami Zayn ultimate card it is a pro 100% one of the best of cards in the tier as well a mid to top tier not in the top five and if you don't want to know what cards are in the top five then go and check out the video I made on that which I'll link up uh, here which will show up in the little eye up there uh, so yeah, that is that. We've got two rewards there. We're going to go to get ourselves Cedric Alexander as well. Let me know what cards you've gone for in the comments section below whilst we pay a little bit extra Team RD before we are done. And now, I'm currently trying to train up quite a few cards in Exhibition as well. So it's taking a while to get those done so i've not contributed much in fact this is slightly embarrassing on my part but this is actually the first point i've contributed to team rd a lot of stuff to deal with in regards to christmas and whatnot so it's taken a little bit of time to be able to get time to record i've had a couple of videos i've had to record as well so this is all down to just me not having the time to get things done so um obviously i apologize to everyone in my team for doing zero points because they've all smashed it and there's almost got three cards without me um potentially we might even go for a fourth card who knows at this point and yeah basically i'm uh, i'm just gonna say this now it's not often that i don't contribute to team events especially when the cards actually mean something so there we go i got myself one shard at least one shard at least it's the best i can do let's get another one we can use a bonus pick here Let's get a second one right now. That's all we hope anyway. Uh, we've got enough, uh, got enough time to get it done. Let me know what you think about everything to do with Alexa Bliss, the event cast. Maybe they might do a female ring domination across the board. Maybe a themed 
female ring domination whilst I'm going to use Stone Cold Steve Austin. Hopefully, no, nah, I didn't think so. Sometimes the, the uh, AI is a bit stupid and it sends out a card to attack yours. But yeah, this time that didn't work. I'm going to use the Mist take over Cesaro. With what we've done, we've dropped our deck down. Sometimes that can come back to bite us on the backside because maybe our team lineup that we get selected is really, really poor. I'm hoping this one's not going to be... Yeah, that's good. Okay. So we get the, the win for that one. Hopefully I get myself a second shard. Redeem myself slightly. That'd be nice if we can redeem myself slightly. Let's go and see if we can get a second shard. And I would love it to get an ultimate pull right now. I'm actually due it because I've been playing some uh, wild mode. Getting a lot of resets. And I haven't had a pull since I got that pull bearer. Which you may or may not have seen before. I think I actually revealed it on stream. I got a second pull bearer. Which is awesome. No, 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 it's not really, uh, but I'm going to make a video on that at a later stage. I'm just going to get one more shard before I'm done. If you guys have been pulling supports out of your backsides, let me know in the comment section below as well. What I'm also going to do is start something cool, which I, I wanted to do a bit low-key, uh, but I wanted to start something called the comment of day, comment of the week. So anything you guys say in the in the comment section below will be taken into consideration for that. It's a power match, and I'm going to get a... Ah, yeah. Power match. I think it's the only stat that he wins in. And that just got called. That sucks. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to win this one. I might still get myself a shard, but yeah. I, I probably should have thrown in different cards there. But I think it was just bad luck with yeah with uh, Brett the Hitman Hart at the bottom having that power match lost uh, as well. Which uh, is the only stat he lost in. So uh, there we go. Let's get this done. Let's hopefully we get one more shard. Can we get one more shard to the team? That'd be amazing. Also got a really, really, well, a couple of really, really awesome uh, videos coming out. Another picked up, by the way. No cards yet. But I did want to start a comment that I was just saying earlier. So any comments you guys put in the comment section below might be taken into consideration for that, which I'm looking at doing for videos going forward, or a comment of the week section, or comment of the video. Maybe even talking about the fact that Austin Aries seems to be going down the commentary route for the Cruiserweight division, which uh, it seems a bit odd given he just came in. I mean, I'm sure he'll be back very soon. But he's definitely pointed out that he wants to be in the cruiserweight division. Do you think that he would end up being the cruiserweight champion, or maybe even the returning Neville? Be amazing to see what how WWE Supercard look at Neville with the cards in the future as well, because Neville came back as a heel and he's dominating. I mean, he he's even he's just different. He, he's just a different, just a different player now in the game. He just seems when you're watching him, he just looks like he's got that bad edge on him. And it's strange that I haven't tapped into that previously. They've been running him as this, this standard baby face for so long. And now it seems like it's going down a different direction. The guy's got a really good edge to him. I'm going to get a third reset here. But let us know in the comment section below if you, any of these cards are pro for you. If, what cards you got? Oh, we've got Super Rare Jack Swagger. Something different than a pick that would have been us. Oh, and another one after that. So we're actually going to get four shards off the board. Four. Uh, let's see if we can get another one. Be lucky. Maybe get, yourself, get, get a third. Maybe... No. Okay. Nah, it's all good. Two in a row is good for me. We got ourselves uh, four shards off the board. So, huge shout out to the guys in the team. Some have just been killing it. Sam, Sam's got 51. Craig's 38. Uh, I was killing it previously. This time, I'm just, yeah, I'm just down the bottom. That's it from me. Thank you so much for watching this. Comments in the comment section below, especially about that Alexa Bliss potentially ring domination, maybe an all female RD. We can only dream. Let me know in the comment section below. Like this video and subscribe to the channel using the link which is going to pop down just beneath me here. Also check out the description for details to Twitter, Twitch and Instagram. I'll see you all very soon. And one last thing before you go and that is to... Zolif!